This is not a paint tutorial. This could be considered a what not to do. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm a tired YouTuber who needed a piece for a video and wanted to do it really quickly. I've been painting cabinets for a client all day and I know I'll be busy in the store tomorrow. So I wanted to get this piece done really quickly. This piece has been sitting up in my hall. You can see there's a lot of orange wood going on. This was a gift from a friend. Um, it was kind of like, a, hey, I don't want this piece of furniture. Do you want it? And we took it a long time ago, and it's looked like this. Um, it is functional in our hall. It holds, like, cleaning stuff. So, um, But it always had something a little bit sticky on it. So what I should be doing here is using a TSP cleaner, I grabbed the first thing I found, which was fantastic. I don't know whether it was all that fantastic or not. It did seem to clean it pretty well, but it did sort of leave some of that, a little bit of that um, stickiness behind. So again, this is a what not to do kind of situation. Um, sometimes people comment and they'll say, you didn't do this right or you didn't do that right. I know. <laughs> so I didn't have any sandpaper. So what did I do? I took a little piece of paper bag. I've done this for fine jobs before and it will change your surface a little bit. Here it didn't do much good, being honest. So I'm using three shades of silk. So I am starting with Baja Gray. I've been re really uh, discovering some of these new uh, colors. So I started with the panels because my original thought was I was going to do a little decoupage paper. So when you decoupage, you do want the color uh, behind it to be light so that your, your uh, decoupage shows up. Um, if it's too dark, it won't show up right. So then I start to paint the top portion of the piece. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do an ombre. So I haven't really mixed with silk a lot, so I'm trying it because this is experimental. It's kind of, you know, late, quick, and what the heck. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing is I'm just applying uh, the silk, and I am using a Zebra Palm Pro brush. I love this brush. I love the way it cleans. Uh, it's so easy to hold in your hand and the bristles are just right. It's just a very cool brush. I really like it. Now I'm switching it up and I'm going to Black Sands, which is kind of a gray black. So I just am using the same brush. Yes, another no-no. I dipped it into the paint container. Um, you can contaminate your paint and... That's, I know, like I said, all the wrong things to do. But I'm calling the result sort of a happy accident. I knew that things, you know, wouldn't turn out. Um, I knew they'd turn out okay, but I guess what my point is in all of this, like I said, sometimes people will comment and say, you didn't clean it properly. You didn't uh, do this properly. I'm fortunate. I get a lot of positive comments, so I'm I'm very blessed. I, so far, the the YouTube community that has followed me, they're all really positive, nice people. So, and every now and then, someone will make a comment. So, uh, and I know a lot of other YouTubers get the same thing. So, the point I'm making is, when it's all said and done. It may be right, it may be wrong, but, you know, the police didn't come and the piece didn't self-destruct. So it's all good. It's art, because this is artistry furniture painting. This isn't fine refinishing here. So, you know, making no, no claims that it is. So you do what you want, especially on your own pieces of furniture. I will tell you that I do a lot of commission work and I wouldn't, um, wouldn't take shortcuts on commission. So just putting that disclaimer out there, but I, you know, like I said, I was tired and I wanted to do a video for you guys, but, um, 
this now I, I switched to anchor which is a deep black and I decide maybe it's a good idea to put some paper underneath it um so anyway I carry on but I have been wanting to paint this piece for a while and again being honest I'm not sure I really ended up with what I want but it's paint. I can always repaint it, but I'm kind of happy with it. I'll be anxious to see what my husband says. <laughs> Sometimes I do these things while he's away. And um, remember that show, While You Were Out? I play it all the time. <laughs> he's gotten used to it. I used to warn him. Now I don't so much. <laughs> he usually likes everything that I do. And, you know, if he doesn't, like I said, it's paint. We can change things. I just, you know, I have a lot of roses and stuff in the kitchen, so I didn't want to be girly with this piece, and I wanted to break up all that orange wood, and also I wanted to be kind of complementary to the other tones. So the bathroom is gray, uh, the wall coming up the steps is kind of a blue-gray, um, you know, so I just kind of wanted to respect the colors that are around. So, So that's my strategy with what I picked. So again, um, blending with the silk. Wow, it's really easy. Of course, you know, when you blend with chalk paint, you usually use water. It's just pretty effortless. I really love the way this paint blended. No water necessary. So here's another no-no. Really, you should let the paint dry naturally, especially with silk. Because silk dries kind of top down if you know what I mean, like the, it'll appear dry to the touch, but just like nail polish, but then it's not really dry underneath. So one thing I did was I mixed, uh, just kind of used a little bit of paint here and there with the oval medium brush. And I also, uh, I'm using some tobacco road, which is voodoo gel stain. So, uh, originally, like I said, I was going to decoupage and I had the mud cloth decoupage paper. But instead, I grabbed this mud cloth stencil. I just, again, going for quick and easy tonight, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm beat. So I just continue to randomly use the paint through the stencil. No tape, nothing. I just kind of lined it up along the side um, just so that I knew I was getting it straight anyway. But very rustic looking piece. And I'm just taking the paint and just kind of going around and just blending a few little areas and just touching up a little bit. Okay, here's where you'll really freak out. So again, not, you know, good idea to use the paint, the hair dryer. I'm just doing it because I want to move this project along. So the reason why it's not so good was because now I'm adding black wax. Again, it all ended up okay, but I'm using the La Petite brush, and I love this brush for this, and usually I use a clear coat first, um, clear wax, so I can kind of float the wax. Um, and I don't think I show it all here, but I take a tissue, actually, because that's what was handy, and I blended the wax in. When I did that, I got a little bit of lift off of the paint, okay? So, um, that happens sometimes with wax if you rub too hard, but I think it was because I didn't let it dry, use the hair dryer, all those things. So instead of, you know, crying over spilt milk, I'm going to go with it. So I got a baby wipe out of the bathroom and I am just going over a lot of areas and pulling paint off to reveal some of the wood underneath so that it looks kind of intentional and kind of goes with the other area where I pulled back some paint. So again, my piece of furniture and that's my choice. And I'm kind of liking the way it looks. So I'm not going to be stripping and or painting those uh, doors, which also had the same tone. So it kind of makes it coordinate and feel at home. And, you know, all this is my possible rationalization for my mistakes. So there it is in its original glory with all that orange wood. And here is the finished piece.
I hope you enjoyed my little quick and dirty paint job. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor Altoona. Stay well.